Hello. I'm going to show you how to process the data that you saved from the first thermodynamics lab and then how to use the MATLAB curve fitting toolbox to estimate the time constants for the three temperature probes. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load the raw data into Excel. So I've got Excel open. I'm going to open the file. Okay. Okay, now I know the file is in here, but it's not showing up because it is uh, set just to show Excel files. So I'm going to click on this and change this to all files, and now we have it here. Okay, open. And now I'm going to open it as a delimited file. And you see how each column is separated by a comma, okay? So I'm going to choose, whoops, not space, comma as the delimiter and finish. Okay, so now we've got four columns of data, one for the time, one for the uh, thermocouple temperature, the PRT temperature, and the thermistor temperature. And if we plot all of this data, the temperatures as a function of time, for the three probes, we get something that looks like this. Okay, now down here, this is where the probes were in the ice water bath. And right around here is where we move them into the boiling water bath. What we want to do is we want to shift, okay, the time axis so that the instant we put them in the boiling water bath, that is our time t equals zero. Okay, so I'm going to just zoom in on this region here. Okay, and I'm going to look, I'm going to pick maybe this point here. Okay, so this is time t is equal to 46.841 seconds. 46.841. Okay, now let's go back up into our data and find the point where T is equal to 46.841 seconds. Bam, right there, okay? Now I'm gonna create another column and I'm going to put a function in here which says that this column, this value is equal to this time minus 46.841 seconds, okay? So that sets that equals to zero. I'm going to copy this into all of these rows, all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so now we've got a new column of shifted time data. Everything above this point, this time, okay, is when uh, the probes are still in the ice water. So we don't really need this information. So I'm going to just delete that, okay? And now I'm going to select this entire column and I'm going to just copy it into this original time column. So essentially, I'm going to take these numbers and put them in here. Okay, but to do that, I need to paste them as values only. Okay, and then these I'm going to delete. Okay, now if I look at the plot, okay, and if I reset the x axis. Okay, now we can see that at time t equals zero, this is when the temperatures started to rapidly increase. So we're good. Okay, I'm going to delete this. And now we have our process data. I'm going to save this data. Okay, so save as, uh, and I'm just going to call it processed, lab one processed data. You can, of course, call it whatever you want. Okay. I'll keep it as a text file, that's fine, doesn't matter. Okay, do you wanna keep it in that format? Sure. Okay, now we've processed the data. Now we're gonna use the curve fitting toolbox to try to determine the best time constant or the most appropriate time constant for the three probes. Okay, following equation number six in the uh, lab handout. So let's go to MATLAB. And first, let's import the data we just saved, the process data. So go to import, okay, 
and we find that folder. Da, 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 da. Okay, and there's the lab one process data. We're going to open this, and uh, it recognizes that we've got the four columns and that the first row are uh, uh, text labels. Okay, so it's going to import just starting with the second row down and it's actually going to give it variable names based on these headers. So all that is good. So click, click yes. It says these following variables were imported and sure enough, if we go back to MATLAB, we see here are our four columns of data. Now let's go to the curve fitting toolbox. Okay, to load the curve fitting toolbox, we have to type in CF curve fitting and then tool T O O L and hit enter. Okay, yours might take a little longer to load up because mine had been loaded previously. Now, here in the upper left, we are going to pick the data we want to plot. So for our X data, we will plot time. And for our Y data, we'll plot the, I'm going to plot the thermocouple temperature. Okay, and this is our result. Okay, so this is the thermocouple temperature. This little bit here, I don't know what happened, but we can probably not worry about that. Let's see. Okay, and it is set to plot a polynomial of uh, degree one. So essentially, it's plotting a straight line through this data, and clearly that's a terrible fit. So what we want to do is we want it to plot equation number six from the handout, which has one unknown, which is the time constant. Okay, so. I'm going to create a custom equation that follows the format of equation six. All right, now equation six has the format, let's see if I can bring it up here. Um, okay, I'm going to go to here, uh, temperature measurement. So equation six right here, okay, has this format, all right? Now, what is being plotted, okay, is this uh, uh, time, the measured temperature, okay, versus T, time, okay? So it's plotting T sub M as a function of little t. Now, these Ts, okay, we know what they are. T naught is the initial temperature of the thermometer, so we can say, Let's just assume that's zero. Capital T with no subscript is the actual temperature. Okay, so according to the thermocouple, the actual temperature was around 102 degrees. Tau is what we're trying to, to find using the curve fitting toolbox, the best value of tau to fit the data. Okay, so if T zero is zero and capital T is 102, then this uh, function would have the form 102 times 1 minus exp, that's the exponential function, okay? And then we have a minus, okay, the time value. Well, in our equation, okay, over here, the time is little t. In our uh, uh, curve fitting toolbox, the time is actually x, okay? So we put x in here divided by, and now we put the variable uh, that, or, or the, the parameter that it's trying to fit to, okay? So in our, again, in our equation, this would be tau, the time constant. Uh, I'm not gonna use a tau because I don't have the Greek letter, uh, so I'm just gonna make that an A, okay? We put that in, and now you might be able to see there's a thin blue line right here which is fitting that data very nicely, okay? And the value of A for that time constant is 1.44, I go with 1.44 seconds. So that is the time constant for my thermocouple, okay? Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to uh, change that for the uh, PRT and for the thermistor. But that is the process that you would use for determining the value of the time constant. Okay.
Thank you very much. If you have any questions, shoot me an email or uh, uh, stop by my office. Thank you.